we're asked to use a table of integrals with the appropriate substitution to determine the indefinite integral. If we focus on just the denominator of the square root of the quantity e to the power of 2x minus 16, looking through the integration tables, the given integral does resemble the integration formula shown here, where the denominator is the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared. So let's begin by writing e to the power of 2x minus 16 as the square root of e to the x minus 4 squared. Let's also factor out the common factor of e to the x from the numerator. So the given integral is equal to the integral of, in the numerator we have e to the power of 2x plus 8 e to the x plus 5 times e to the x, differential x. And then for the denominator we have the square root of the square of e to the x minus 4 squared. Where u is equal to e to the x, and therefore differential u is equal to e to the x dx, and we also know a is equal to 4. So now let's write the given integral in terms of u and a. So performing substitution, the numerator is now u squared plus 8u plus 5. e to the x dx is differential u, and the denominator is now the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared. And now the next step is to break this up into three separate integrals since we have a sum of three terms in the numerator. The given integral is equal to the integral of u squared divided by the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared, differential u, plus, let's factor out the eight and write this as eight times the integral of u divided by the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared, differential u, and then finally plus five times the integral of one divided by the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared differential u. Now looking at these three integrals, notice how the first integral resembles the formula perfectly now. The second integral is going to require another substitution, we'll call it v substitution, and the third integral resembles this integration formula perfectly. So let's work on the v substitution for this middle integral. Let's let v equal u squared minus a squared, and therefore differential v is equal to two u differential u, dividing both sides by two. Notice one half dv is equal to u du. So we'll leave the first and third integrals alone for right now. Performing the substitution for the middle integral, we have eight times u du is equal to one half dv, giving us one half times the integral, and then we have dv. And we have one divided by the square root of v, which is equal to v to the power of negative one half. Let's continue on the next slide. And now we integrate. The first integral matches the integration formula perfectly here at the bottom, which gives us u divided by two, which is e to the x divided by two, times the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared, which gives us the square root of the quantity e to the power of two x minus 16, and then plus a squared divided by two, which is four squared divided by two, or 16 divided by two, times natural log, absolute value of u plus the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared, which gives us e to the power of x plus the square root of e to the power of two x minus 16. And then for the middle integral, we have plus four times the integral of v to the power of negative one half, which is v to the power of positive one half divided by one half. Divided by one half is equivalent to multiplying by two, and v to the power of one half is equal to the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared, which gives us the square root of the quantity e to the power of 2x minus 16. And then finally for the last integral, we have plus five times applying the integration formula here at the bottom, which matches perfectly. We have natural log of the absolute value of u plus the square root of the quantity u squared minus a squared, which once again gives us e to the power of x plus the square root of the quantity e to the power of 2x minus 16 and then finally plus c. And now it's simplify and combine like terms. For the final antiderivative, we have e to the x divided by two times the square root of the quantity e to the power of two x minus 16. And now let's focus on the natural logs. Notice how the inputs for the natural logs are the same. 
So here we have 8 natural log plus 5 natural log, which gives us plus 13 times natural log, absolute value of e to the x plus the square root of the quantity e to the power of 2x minus 16. And then finally we have plus 8 times the square root of e to the power of 2x minus 16 plus c. I hope you found this helpful.